It's not a Harry Potter mug. This is a mug from Serpent and Dove. That's the book that I that I read. It's not Harry Potter. I'm so ashamed. Hello friends and welcome to another magical unboxing. Today I have a box that I'm always very excited about because it is one of my favorite boxes at the moment. It is Magical Suitcase. If you are subscribed to my channel, you will probably know by now that Magical Suitcase is a company based in Poland. They do all kinds of boxes uh, surrounding different fandoms. So they also have boxes for Disney, The Witcher. Uh, I saw one of Star Trek or Star Wars. No, I think Star Wars. Um, but anyways, they also do Wizarding World boxes and I always order them because they are amazing and they do very good quality items, very original and yeah, I'm always surprised by the effort that they put into these boxes. This is their July box. It has been sitting here for more than a week, but I was on a holiday, so it was just delivered and I didn't get the chance to unbox it for you guys yet. So I do hope there's nothing in there that's melted because it was over 30 degrees in this house for an entire week, uh, but we'll see. I recently unboxed a new box on this channel, Mist and Magic Box 2, uh, themed around magical shops. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I think I mentioned the word amazing like 30 times. It was a really fun box. Uh, so I will leave that video up in the info cards. But for now, let's take a look at the Magical Suitcase box. And if you like these kind of videos, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get unboxing. The big and huge box from Magical Suitcase and we have another a great looking label. It says Magical Creatures. We have the Ford Anglia, uh, which is the magical flying car, of course. I think he's driving around in the Forbidden Forest and it says a special box. So I always forget to mention this, but every other month they do a special box. You don't get to choose. It's just how it is. And these special boxes are a bit more expensive, but also you get more exclusive items. Let's take the first look into this magical creatures box. Okay, we have a purple tissue paper. And when we flip that, ooh, interesting. I really don't know what that was, but it looked really interesting. <laughs> Spoiler card is on top, we're not gonna look at that, but I am going to read you guys the description of this box. The July Harry Potter box is all about magical and fantastic beasts. We've prepared a portion of items that every magizoologist will love instantly. We hope you'll enjoy this box as well. Okay, now I'm even more excited. That is such a cool profession. I can't wait to see what items are in this box. <sighs> I, I, I can't resist. I'm gonna start with the big item that we saw when we did the sneak peek and I think it is a bag. Yeah, it definitely is a bag. And there's even something in here. It is a drawstring bag. Oh, I really like those. I, I don't own a drawstring bag, so that's cool. Um, and what do we have on front? We have two elves from the kitchen, which is very cool because I don't see that that often. One of the two elves is holding cookies, I think. There are some flying spoons, there's a cake, a cauldron, some jars at the bottom, and the other elf is uh, decorating cupcakes. I really like this. That is so unique. And um, I also really like the colors that they use. It is not very bright, it's kind of blended, but it works. And the art style is, is yeah, it's it's really well done. I, I especially like their noses. But as I said, there is something in the drawstring bag, so let's take a look. It is the t-shirt. Ooh, it's super soft. Is it a t-shirt? Feels like a sweater. It's an actual sweater. Okay, that is not the season because it's way too hot to wear sweaters, but still, oh my gosh, that is, this is good quality. No, that is so cool. <laughs> okay, let me pull myself together for you guys so I can actually show you what is on uh, this sweater. But on the front, it says a first class uh, dragonologist dragonologist. I am a dragonologist. I didn't know that was a word, but I think it's a very cool word. And then at the back, we have a picture of apparently a Romanian dragon. And it says Romanian Dragon Sanctuary, 1973 first class dragonologist. And then it has the magical suitcase label at the bottom. I really like this. 
Honestly, you guys, I'm a bit blown away by the fact that they put a sweater in a box. That is great value. I know it's summertime and I'm probably not going to wear it anytime soon, but still, it's a sweater with a magical print. That is, yeah, amazing. Next up is this, I think, bottle that is wrapped in paper. Yeah, it's definitely a bottle. Let's see what do we have. It is a magical suitcase apothecary dragon's blood. Uh, that's a weird looking blood. Um, potions, ingredients. Oh, that explains it. It's, <laughs> it's wizardry bath salt. So this is meant to look like dragon's blood, but it's actually bath salt. It has a very strong strawberry smell. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of that smell, but who knows when you drop it in the bath, it's gonna smell a bit differently. But I love these kind of items because it's really practical. Uh, you can use it and it also looks good in your bathroom and it makes it look a bit more magical. Let's take the white box and usually these are mugs or candles. So let's take a look. It's a candle. So this has to be a candle from a magical creature. It's green. What do we have? Oh, we have Bicket. That is, of course, a bow charcoal from Fantastic Beast. And it says it is bamboo and green tea. That sounds really interesting. And I have absolutely no idea how that smells, but we'll find out. That smells really refreshing. I, I wasn't, well, my nose went into the candle. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's a really refreshing smell. Oh, can't wait to try this. The next item is wrapped in a brown paper. It is another bottle. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is Acromantula X. Wow, they made this look so realistic. What is this? Ooh, it actually moves. Okay, <laughs> that is. That is gross and awesome at the same time. They use this kind of liquid and then they put these little balls. I don't know. It's like see-through balls in there that represent the eggs. Oh my gosh, this looks so realistic. I love it. I also really like the design of the label and they use like very pastel colors. Next up is their magical suitcase tea and it is a demi moss, which probably stands for demi guys and the ingredients are in Polish. So I kind of translate that for you guys because I don't know Polish. Uh, this has happened before. It is a mistake because I have the English version of this box. This box comes in a Polish and English version. So I will just have to message them and ask them what the ingredients are and um, yeah, how long I have to put it into hot water because that doesn't say on the label. Is it tea? It looks like bath salts. Okay, this is weird. You guys, look at this. Doesn't this look like bath salts? But it says magical suitcase tea. Okay, we'll have to check that on the spoiler card, but um, let's take a sniff. It smells like coconuts. Ooh, it actually smells like coconut. If it is tea, I can't wait to try it because I really like that. I can see something really exciting. I don't think it's a secret that I like Funko Pops. I have several of them on my shelves and there is a Funko Pop in this box and it is a really, really good one. It is a magical creature and it's one of my favorites. This is a pop number 17. It is a Thestral and it belongs to the collection of the Crimes of Grindelwald. So you can also get Newt Scamander, Albus Dumbledore in his younger years, uh, Gellert Grindelwald, a Thestral, Chupacabra, Picket, oh, that would have been amazing as well. Um, Madagots and the baby Nif baby Nifflers. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is way too adorable. Uh, but yeah, really happy uh, with this Thestral. Let's get him out of the box. This is gonna look so awesome on my magical creature shelf. I have one, it's down there, you, you can't see it, but I'm gonna add this. Oh, that's gonna look so amazing. And this pop looks so cool. I love his white eyes and his skeletal body, his tail. Yeah, love it. Shut up. No. Is there actually a puzzle in here? Are you kidding me? There's an actual 500 piece Wizarding World puzzle in here. They weren't kidding when they said that special boxes have better value. Wow, wasn't expecting that. 
Um, yeah, I am I'm so excited to, to do this puzzle. We have four characters from Fantastic Beasts and of course Newt Commander at the front. There's a bull charcoal, a demon guys, a niffler, and some other creatures that I don't know the name of. I never got a puzzle, an official Wizarding World puzzle in a box. I'm, I'm, yeah. Let's just move on. There are still items in this box. <laughs> um, at the bottom, I have found three art prints. So first up is a Magizoologist Diploma, of course, and with permission of Department for the Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures, we hereby decree and grant this title too. And you can fill in your own name for achievements and discoveries on endangered species recognized by the whole wizarding world. And it's signed by Cornelius Fudge and Amos Diggory. Next up, it is a page that describes the unicorn, a majestic animal which resembles a horse with a long horn on the forehead. And the third page is about mer people. Mer people are magical beasts. The upper part of their bodies is very similar to a human, but below the waist they have fishtail covered with scales. This is a cute touch, but I have to be honest, I have gotten some amazing paper replicas in boxes lately. So these are good, but not great. I think they would have been great if they just added like a little bit of gold foiling or maybe silver foiling or just some, just a little bit of extra to make it look extra magical. Nonetheless, I'm going to hold on to these um, and yeah, I, I really like them. And the final item in this box is a blank notebook that says Magizoology Notebook for Sketches, Discoveries and Research <laughs> Property Off. And again, you can fill in your own name. Ooh, I like the back. Wow. So it's got an M on the back that stands for Magizoology, I guess, um, and beautiful artwork surrounding it with a lots of flowers. That leaves us with these spoiler sheets, so let's take a quick look. We've got a total of 12 items in this box and it wasn't tea, <laughs> it is Demi Guy's chocolate drink. Okay, that, that explains a lot. Um, and I wasn't smelling coconut, it is white chocolate and milk chocolate. Apparently my uh, sense of smell isn't that well developed. Anyways, another great box from Magical Suitcase. We got some amazing items and definitely worth the money. We, oh my gosh, I'm still kind of processing that we got a Funko Pop, a jigsaw puzzle, a sweater. They're, these are high value items. Yeah, I am, I'm, I'm very happy. It's getting harder and harder to pick favorite items in these boxes. I mean, come on, like there's, there's so many favorites in here. I, I can't choose. Um, No, I honestly can't. I can't choose. I, I really like everything. If, if I have to say one negative thing about this box is that it kind of gave off a winter vibe because of the chocolate drink, the sweater, the jigsaw puzzle, the candle. It's all kind of products that you use during um, colder times and not summertime. But then again, that is that is like nitpicking. I don't know. I, 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 I just love this box. I seriously can't stop looking at these eggs. What did they use? And that was it guys, another unboxing from Magical Suitcase. So of course I've ordered their August box, which is themed back to school. Very excited about that one. I don't think they've shipped yet because they are still having some delays due to everything that's going on. Um, but yeah, that's coming my way soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.